What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Psychic Surge Mewtwo team to use on the ranked ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going on on the channel. It's crazy that we are actually almost at 8,000 subscribers on the channel. Another step closer to 10,000. I cannot wait to we hit that milestone but today is actually a big day for your boy it is actually his 22nd birthday yep jeans 22nd birthday is today well by the time this video goes live my birthday will actually be a day before my birthday is on march 29th but when this video goes live it'll be march 30th because i like to record it a day in advance but you guys get the gist but that actually leads me to question of the day considering i am going to be having some cake later but the question is what are your favorite flavors of cakes i did say flavors because i couldn't decide once a uh, cake popped in my head three flavors actually popped inside my head as well it was a uh, Red Velvet, which is one of my favorite. Plain old chocolate. I love me some chocolate cake. And finally, it's going to be that birthday cake style flavor. It has like the little rainbow pieces. It's absolutely smacking. But definitely let me know in the comment section down below what your guys' favorite flavors are. But rocking out on this team, we're going to get started with Mewtwo up in that top left corner. He has the unnerved, so nobody can eat berries while he's on the field. The weakness policy, if we get that proc and we can roll out there. Then we got expanding force, hurricane, flamethrower, and protect. Right next to him, we have an Assault Vest Entei with Inner Focus. Inner Focus is amazing considering a lot of Pokemon rock fake out nowadays. So Inner Focus allows us not to get uh, flinched or all that good stuff. We have Sacred Fire Extreme Speed for first turn priority. Stone Edge for coverage. And Snarl to actually drop special attack for our opposing Pokemon. Middle left, we got Grim Snarl, an amazing support mod with the Light Clay. And Prankster, you guys know how I love Screens mods. This thing has Light Screen, Reflect, Thunder Wave the Pester with Speed, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Right next to him, we got Regilecki with that Focus Ass and the Transistor ability. Thunderbolt, E-Web to actually slow down the Pokemon, Assurance, and Protect. Bottom left corner is Tapu Lele. I absolutely love this Tapu Pokemon. I feel like it's underrated considering Tapu Finny is so in the meta right now. But I absolutely love this Pokemon. It's an all-around beast. We have Psychic Surge. The Psychic Seed so we get that defense boost as we get in there. With the, Well, whenever she goes in there because the Surge is going to get popping. Then the Seeds are going to proc. Then we have the Psy Shock, Dazzling Gleam, Focus Blast, and Protect. And this Pokemon actually pairs really well with Mewtwo. Considering we can drop that, get the Surge rolling, have Expanding Force ready to go with that heavy hitting Mewtwo. Then in our final spot, we have Gigalith. This Pokemon is awesome in Trick Room. It is also holding the Life Orb, and we can Weather Control with it, considering it has Sand Stream as its ability. And then we have Rock Slide, Super Power, Heavy Slam, and Wide Guard if we want to make some reads for some double-hitting moves. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Mewtwo team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a pretty cool looking team here. He's got, I guess, like a Kyogre Brain team alongside with like Hippowdon. He's got like a mixture of everything. He has the Heatran, the Wimscott, the Pheromosa, the Hippowdon, like I said, and the Mimikyu in the final spot of... I should go about this. Who should I lead? I kind of want to go in with Mewtwo for sure. I might want to set up some screens here, bring Gigalith in the back so I can have weather control. Um, just have Heatran, Pheromosa. But Mewtwo, you're definitely getting that lead. You're definitely getting that lead. I want him in this first battle. Um, hmm. I don't want to go in with that with the surge. Surge could be pretty solid. Well, I can go in with screens. I could proc policy if I want to here as well. It could be pretty solid. I'm gonna bring Gigalith in that back end for sure. And then in the final spot, I might go Entei. Entei's not bad. Look at that assault vest. He does have some physical attackers, some special. A little bit of half and half, but then he has that first turn priority. So I think I am going to like uh, how we're leading this one or picking the Pokemon. But yo, 22. Your boy is getting old. 22 years old. That is nuts. That is nuts. It's crazy. It's like my first birthday that like none of these birthdays really matter. Well, they do because it's my birthday. They're, they're, they're special in general. But like 21st was like that big birthday. Now I have nothing to really look forward to. I guess like my 30th birthday, my 40th or my 50th. They're like the next big milestone birthdays. But like yeah, from like 22 to 30, it's really just like, oh, another birthday. Nothing new. Nothing changes. But still, let's get rolling here. He goes uh, Faramosa and Whimsicott. I'm going to go Grimmy Poo and my boy Mewtwo. My boy Mewtwo. I know a lot of you guys probably think like, yo, jeans. Don't usually go uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield and 3D World. But yeah, since it's your boy's day, I was like, yo, I want to wake up. I want to play some Pokemon. I want to record some Pokemon for you guys. I'm definitely dropping Expanding Force. Actually, no, I think I'm going to Dynamax, actually. Dropping my Max Mindstorm. But do, I, do I drop a Max Mindstorm or do I just get the Speed Boost? Who sashed up? I think maybe Faramosa sashed up, right? I'm going to take out Whimsicott. I could sucker punch. This is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm actually gonna sucker punch onto my Mewtwo. Uh, get that speed boost. Check out that Whimsicott. And roll from there. I wonder what he's gonna do. 
I wonder what his plan is here with the Whimsicott and Ferramosa Mosa lead. That's throwing me off. Really is throwing me off. But Mewtwo's gonna get the Dynamax. We're gonna prop policy. I think Ferramosa is holding the sash. Not gonna lie. But if Whimsicott is holding the sash, then I'll just sucker punch it next turn. Take it out. Unless it's going for another support move. And then go into the Max Mind Storm over onto the Ferramosa. But usually Ferramosa hold, is holding the sash. Sucker punch comes out here. Bang, yo. Dang, dude. That actually did a lot of damage. Don't like how much damage that actually did. <laughs> that did a lot. Maybe maybe next time I should set up a screen first. <laughs> uh, he's gonna go into a drill run. Oh hey, okay over in the crimson. Oh, I'm fine with it. Yo, what is this? Oh, I never seen a team like this. We're gonna get a speed boost here. This thing sash. It is a sash mod. I never seen this. Is, like these are master ball tier battles. We've been getting some funky teams lately. We've been getting some funky teams. We're about sitting at nine thousand, a rank nine thousand two hundred something. So it's not like these are like low battles. Moonblast comes through. Do some damage. I am going to suck a punch and I'm going to pick up this double KO. I'm going to pick up this double KO. Max Mind Storm, I'm going to get the Surge rolling. And then I'm going to just suck a punch on you. If you're going for attack and moves, I don't mind going for it first turn hit. And then we know Faramosa isn't Sash. Which is nice. But that thing dropped a drill run? Like that? That's weird, right? Someone playing pranks on me? That was weird. That was weird. Usually, yeah, usually you don't lead Faramosa with like a Boom Sky. Like a punch comes out here, and he is still going for attacking moves. Not even trying to set up a tailwind or anything. Oh, wait, what? Like, how does this dude get in the master bolt here? <laughs> Drill run coming out here again. That might take me out. That don't mind. I'm sorry, I already did his job. We proc policy. Faramos is going to go down here. I'm going to reel out Entei here. Beast boost is coming. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. You're dead. You're dead. The only thing that stinks about Faramos is his beast boost is a, uh, a speed boost. Like, it's already faster than most Pokemon. You do not need a speed boost for it. Second Surge is rolling now. Mewtwo is buzzing. He's buzzing. Get that thing out of here. Uh, what's, yeah, we're the fast on the field. We're plus one in speed, which is wonderful. Uh, do I get, get out Gigalith? Or I think we just get out Entei here. With that Assault Fest, we have extreme speed. We get Snarl if he has special attackers. We go from there. Who's he going to go with? He's going to go with Kyogre. So I'm definitely going to Snarl. Or I can just change up weather. Up to me. Oh, and Mimikyu's coming out here. I'm definitely Snarling. Taking off that disguise for one. And two, I'm going to be able to get that special attack drop on, over onto that Kyogre. Plus, we do outspeed that. Maybe we can take it out in one shot with another Max Mindstorm, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And just get that Snarl rolling. That's what I love about uh, Entei and Suicune. They both learn Snarl. I haven't used Raikou. I think I used him once. I'm not sure if he learned Snarl. But Snarl is such a great move for uh, competitive ranked doubles. Especially going up against Kyogre teams and stuff. Special attacking drops can be huge. And Lapras teams. I feel like if I have a Pokemon with Snarl, I always dominate up against a Lapras team. Because I just start pestering. Usually they're going to Dynamax. I can waste it out. And then get my back end Pokemon in there and roll out and pick up a W. Well, let's see what this guy does. He's probably going to Dynamax a Kyogre, if I had to guess. Or maybe the Mimikyu. Let's see. Yep, I, I, I think it's a Kyogre. He has the weather. He's going crazy. Or he might go with the Mimikyu and try to get off Water Spouts and all that. Let's see what he does. It is going to be the Kyogre. Okay, I'm fine with it. We outspeed it all day. I'm going to be able to get off a plus two max mines from one to this thing. A snarl. Let's see guards and trick rooms. That would be huge. That would be big brain plays. But nah, he ain't no big brain play. No big brain play. Max mines from comes out here. Doing a decent amount of damage, but not as much as I wanted it to do. Snarl's going to come out here. Take off this guy's. Get minus one onto that uh, Kyogre. And if he doesn't take on my Me Too here, it is GG's. It is GG's. This guy's pop, so solid. That was, that was probably one of the best snarls you can get. <laughs> best snarls you get. And then he comes out here, and he drops it. Oh, he's swords dancing. He's trying to set up. He's trying to set up. Good thing I outspeed. That thing's dead. What's this guy doing? I'm, I'm really confused. Unless he takes out my Mewtwo here. Which he might be able to. Or he's probably going after Ente. No, he's going after Mewtwo. Minus one helping us out tremendously. We buzzing. Expanded Force going to come out here and pick up the double KO. That's GG's. That is G's, yo. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Um... I guess I'll take her. Uh, no, we can't take her. I guess I'll Stone Edge over on to Kyogre, just in case this one doesn't pick up the KO. I know the Expanded Force can take out that that little paper thin Mimikyu over there. Doesn't stand a chance. Expanded Force coming out, bang, and there's a double kill. Let's go. Perfect first battle. Got to show off Mewtwo, proc that policy, and absolutely sweep. I don't really know what this guy was doing here. We kind of started off whack by just going for move blast and drill runs, but hey, we take those victories. We can now hop into our second battle and look to go back and back, back to back for our first two battles.
it's time to go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. Going up against another Kyogre team here with Rillaboom, Landorus, Rotom Heat, Clefairy, and Ferrothorn. So this team's actually looking pretty solid. He can set the Grassy Surge, and he can go for Weather. We can set Surges, and we can go for Weather. I'm definitely bringing Gigalith in that back end just so I can get Weather Control because Kyogre's an absolute monster. Um, I think I might go same lead with that Grimmsnarl and the, uh, and the Mewtwo. I might try to set up screens. Or I can go here in case he leads. Uh, I'm kind of liking this. I don't like him right here. These two. Bring in Gigalith. And then I think we bring Mewtwo in that back end. With that weakness policy. It'd be solid. Or, hmm. or I can set up screens. Go with Mewtwo. Hmm. Gigalith is slower. I might actually lead Gigalith here. See what we can get rolling here. Nah, we're going to go here. We're going to uh, go with the Surge. I'll bring Mewtwo. I can lead Mewtwo. Mewtwo's pretty fast. Okay, we're gonna go in like this. I'm gonna go with this. I think that's solid. I call. I should have brought Regilecki. What was I doing? What was I doing? Actually, now Regilecki's only good up against that Kyogre. Because he can't hit the Landers. So he's gonna be not very effective up against the Real Boom. So, I think we're fine. I think we're sitting pretty. We got the Xerneas number two song going. I was just sliding through music looking for the one I want, and it stopped on this one. So. I guess we'll take it. He goes Kyogre and Clefairy, which I'm fine with. I might hard swap into Good Glyph now. Uh, we got the Surge. I might hard swap. I think I'm going to hard swap into Good Glyph here. Um, or I can set up a Light Screen and Protect. Might be the play. Yeah, let's set up a Light Screen and Protect my top of Lele. And I have that Special Defense boost already. That's going to be pretty nice. Drizzle comes out here. We do have the Surge rolling, and I could start Side Shocking if I really want to. But I think Protect and get up the Light Screen would be better first turn. Yeah, let's go with Light Screen here. And I'm just going to protect you. Because I don't see him Dynamax, and I see him more so going for a Water Spout. And a Follow Me, potentially. Or just go Fairy might be protecting. You never know. Let's see. Fairy just goes for that Follow Me. He's trying to protect that Kyogre. And roll from there. Crypt Snarl is going to be able to set up a Light Screen, and he's probably just going for a straight Water Spout. But yo, my top of Lele is bulked right now. Special Defense 1 and uh, Light Screen out here. Water Spout's going to do decent damage to my Grimstar. Might take it out, might not. Hopefully we get another turn because I would love to throw some paralyzers on the field. Lovely. Okay, that's lovely. Okay. Cool. So now I actually want to go for a Street Thunder Wave. If he follow me, it, that's totally fine. And I'm just going to drop a side shock here over on the Kyogre side. Follow me, it again. That's fine. We get one play. I might protect another turn after this. Yeah, we're just, gonna, we're just slowing this battle down. Kyogre is a beast. But if we can pester it and get, get after this thing, we'll be chilling. Helping hands coming out here, so we are going to be able to get off some shots onto this Kyogre. I think we should be able to outspeed it as well. We're decently fast. Thunder Wave comes out here. Oh my god, yo. What am I thinking? Yo, there's a psychic terrain out here, Jeans. What are you doing? What are you doing? We get off a solid uh, side shock, though, with a crit. With a lovely little crit. What am I doing? Origin Pulse coming out here. Okay, cool. We make a mistake. He gets a miss attack. So, hope you guys are looking after us today. Who's going to hit? He's going to hit Lele, and Lele eats it like a tank, dude. Lele's out here eating it like a tank. Um, I might do a hard swap here. Into Gigalith. I am going to hard swap into Gigalith here. Actually, no, 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 no. Actually, hmm. What do I do here? Yeah, I am going to hard swap into Gigalith. Change this weather up. Let's change up the weather. And I guess we'll just go into another side shock. If we can connect with it. If we can connect with it. Because Grimstar can't really do anything. What am I going to do? Set up a reflect? I can't Thunder Wave. I Sucker Punch is just going to go into Follow Me's. So I really don't feel like wasting my turns. Actually, maybe I should have, considering he's been helping Handy a lot. See, yep, there's Follow Me. Okay, so decent swap for me. I would have got off nothing, so I'd rather swap out this turn. Side Shock's going to pop through. We have Weather Control now. Bang, bang, bang. Doing a decent amount of damage. And there's Kyogre with another Origin Pulse, which Giglet should be able to be decent with this one, right? He shouldn't be able to take too, too much. Yeah, see? Gigalith is able to eat pretty solidly. Thank you, screens. And Buffets are going to fly around. Uh, do I Dynamax him? Or I think I save it for Mewtwo. Yeah, I think I save it for Mewtwo. And I can drop a nice little rock side. Or I'm, th I'm thinking of uh, just heavy. Mm. I think I'm, I'm going to drop a rock side here. Rock side into Shy Shock. It's going to be play. It's going to be play. I think another follow me comes out. Yep, of course. Uh, Sideshock won't be able to KO, but we should be able to eat up another Origin Pulse, no problem. And be sitting decently fine here. 
with side shock. Hopefully, Rockside can actually take out. Oh my god, we leave this thing on one. We leave this thing on one. Get him out of here. He is going to go down regardless to the buffets and everything. But as long as he doesn't get a crit onto my Giglith, we'll be fine, which we are. Rockside comes out here. Kai Ogre avoids attack. Come on, man. Come on. At least my, uh, at least my Lele outspeeds the Kai Ogre. But then he's just going to bring out another Pokemon that probably outspeeds my Lele. Take that out. That's rough, man. That's real rough. I don't like this game one bit. Not being nice to me today. <laughs> Buffets fly through. Kai Ogre's going to take a little bit of damage. Once I get rid of this Kyogre, we should be sitting pretty decent. Like I said, I think Grimstar on the back. I could Sucker Punch proc policy. I want to. Real Boom is going to come out here for that Grand Slide. Um, okay. He's definitely going to go after that Giglet, right? Or is he going to go after Lele? Where are you going to go after Lele? Let's see. What are you going to do here? We're going to slide. Good protect, but now nah, we're just going to go for the side shock. Man, that's tough, dude. Only if Kyogre was dead already. I think he's going to pick up the double kill. Fake out's going to pop here. Of course, terrain switched. We do go down that, and Origin Pulse is going to take us out. Okay. That's fine. Origin Pulse comes out here. Hmm. All right, so it comes down to Mewtwo and my, uh... And my Grimstone. Dang, dude. Who really missed that slide? Who really missed that rock slide? He's going to take Buffett, so... Uh, what do I think the play is here? Set up a reflect or a straight sucker punch? I think we go straight sucker punch. I think we go straight sucker punch. We set up that uh, airstream, pick out the roll boom. I said we get rid of that roll boom. Roll boom goes to goes down to an airstream. We get that speed boost. We could set up a reflect next turn depending on what Pokemon he throws out. But yeah, th this is this has to happen right now. Right now, Sucker Punch come out here. Over onto you, and we get rolling. And we get rolling. Actually, I probably outspeed both of them. So I maybe just could have went into a Mind Storm, into a Reflect. That could have been a play. That could have been a play instead of Sucker Punch. But I feel like I have the Sucker Punch and get rid of this. Uh, this what's called. Just real boom. Proc this policy too and get rolling here. Rest guys can come out here. Do a decent amount of damage. Dang, dude. Sucker Punch can do a decent amount of damage on us as well. E yo. Ooh. I like that one bit. There goes my policy. We are going to start taking speed advantage. I just need to eat up an Origin Pulse from this Kyogre. That's all I need to do. Airstream coming out here. Get after it. Bang, you're dead. So we have speed. We have speed. He still has a Dynamax. Which is rather scary. Like I said, all I have to do is eat up this Origin Pulse coming out here. This one's still gonna be close. It's still gonna be tough. Let's see what it is. Origin Pulse comes out. E. Eat it up. Okay, so we eat pretty well here. Um, hopefully, he throws out another special attacker. But I think a Sucker Punch should be able to do the work over on that Kyogre slot. Right? Right? Sucker Punch should be able to do the work. I think so. I don't know. That's cutting it close. That is cutting it close. But we're definitely gonna Sucker Punch over on that. Unless he throws out a physical, then I might wanna set up a reflect. Unless my, I know my Mewtwo has is fast speed, so I might just drop. Oh, this Lando, he is gonna Dynamax. Okay, he's gonna Dynamax Lando. Intimidate comes out here. It's gonna make my Sucker Punch do less damage. Oh man, yo, this is gonna be a good one. Uh, good Mindstorm, but I can only Mindstorm this turn. Good Paralyze. I feel like I have to Mindstorm here, right? I feel like I have the mind swim there. And I feel like I have the sucker punch, right? Let's get it. Let's get after it. I can only sucker punch this turn because the terrain is going to change right after this. He's going to Dynamax the Lando. Oh, this one's good. This one's coming down to the wire. But just think, if that rock slide would have hit, we would have been thriving. Tiger would have been done for. We would have rolled out this battle and went back to back very, very easily. We still have a shot here. I'm not counting us out just yet because we have our weakness policy proc and we have speed advantage right now. Maybe we get a crit with the Sucker Punch. I don't think it's going to take out normally. Sucker Punch is going to come through here. If it does take out, that's going to be huge. No. Ooh, the minus one might have been huge. Might have just helped him survive that. Can we get KO here? We do not. Dynamax HP is too much for us to handle. And I think he's going to pick up this KO here. Unless he gets a double miss onto that Origin Pulse. That's, I think that's the only way out. What's he going to go for? He's going to go for an Airstream. Or boost the speed. Go after Grimstar. No, because he's after Mewtwo. Smart play. And he's going to be able to pick up this win. No problem.
No problem whatsoever. GG's. We're going to start off one and one. But, yo, you guys already know. We got third and final battle coming at you guys. We got third and final battle coming at you guys. And we're going to be looking for a winning record in that battle. I'm just going to run this one. It's not going to be a big deal. You guys already know I lost this one. Third and final battle going up against little Timmy over here. He has a shuckle team, which I absolutely love. His team looks very, very strong. And then he just has shuckle. So I'm a little thrown off. I think it'd be an absolute beast. I'm kind of scared of it. He also has the Metagross, the Whimsicott, the Incinemor, Blowboom, and Urshfu. Like I said, heavy meta and shuckle, <laughs> which is hilarious and I love it so much. But I think I'm going to go Lele here into uh, Mewtwo. So I can't be faked out. He has two fake out users here. And we can try to get this uh, Expanded Force rolling. Uh, do I go Entei? I think Entei is pretty solid here. Not even going to lie. Let's go Entei with that Assault Fest here as well. There's a lot of physical attackers, which kind of scares me. So I might want to set up a Reflect. Um, do I go Gigalith in the final spot? Gigalith's not bad. I can go Regilecki. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do? I, do? I do have Assurance with Regilecki, which not bad, not bad. I think I'm going to bring Regilecki in that back, back end. Or I might just bring out you. I might bring Grimstar. Grimstar can pester here big time. Nah, I'm just going to go Regilecki. We haven't shown him no loving today. Probably should have went out uh, Gigalith though. We have that uh, orb and I could Dynamax. But hey, we picked our team. We're ready to get rolling here. We got the hot music now. Little Timmy's about to get a whap in here. Just so I can get that winning record on my birthday, baby. No ands, ifs, or buts. We're going for it. We're getting after it. Yeah, I am really enjoying this team. You two teams are kind of tougher to play, play with. Considering there's so many better Pokemon than just a like two. But he is going to roll Shuckle and Whimsicott. And I'm scared, yo. Shuckle's a beast, man. Shuckle doesn't play no games. He comes out here, he's like, hey, I'm ready to play. I'll, I'll mess around. I would love to play a Shuckle team. If any of you guys got a Shuckle team for me, send it over to your boy in my Instagram DMs. I would love to play a Shuckle team. I haven't used one. And Shuckle is just such a cool Pokemon. I feel like he needs an evolution, though. He definitely needs an evolution. We get that special defense boost. I'm going to drop a lovely little expanding force in this surge. I might just side shock over onto Shuckle. Get Shuckle buckling. Let's do it. Let's see what his play is. Probably set up a Tailwind. Unless he has something. He has to have some crazy, like, synergy going on here. Like, what? Like, I, I just don't know, yo. Shuckle's a man. I would, oh, yo, I gotta get a Shuckle plush, man. I got Score Bunny, Sobble, and Grookey next to me. I gotta get a Shuckle one, man. Imagine if they sell, like, a a nine-foot Shuckle plush. Can you imagine that thing chilling in behind me? It's like a giant beanbag. Man and Force Pops. Bang, doing some nice damage. Here's side shock, dude. Chuckle's a like tank, man. He play, plays no games. Chuckle plays no games. You go for a power split. Hey! Hey! Yo! Shared power with his target. So I guess I I guess I drop damage here. I guess I drop. I think we should still be able to take out this uh. Yeah, I should have brought the Gigalith. I might swap after this. Wait, can I like see my stats or something like that? Does it just swap? Does it show up? I don't think it shows up. But I think if I swap, I'll get out of it, right? I might swap next turn. The Regilecki. The Expanded Force should still be able to take that out. Yo, Shuckle with the power split, baby. I think plays no games. He plays no games. Shuckle, man. <laughs> yeah, he totally needs an evolution. Or he needs he needs a pre-evolution, too. He should be like a little a little yellow worm, worm that evolves into this. And then evolves into a big dude. He can come out here. He's going to get some HP. Oh, no. That's from you. I thought it was Shuckle. Oh, Shuckle's doing it. Hopefully, my Expanding Force should still be able to take that out. We'll see in a second. Expanding Force comes out. Come on. Take it out. Take it out. Thank you. Thank you. So, we take out the one Scott. And we'll be able to take out this Shuckle here. But all he has is Tailwind. Do I swap the Mewtwo? Might swap the Mewtwo. Might swap the Mewtwo, yeah. He's communicating. Or I can keep him in and save my Dynamax for uh, Entei. That is Soul Fest. He's going to go Fuegro. He's going to be Instant War, so awesome. No more Intimidates can get out on my Pokemon. He's going to go Medical, so yeah. We're definitely saving him for my Entei here. Uh, so Intimidates can come out here. He's probably going to fake out, which cannot actually. It's huge. Top of the Lily Surge out here. And he's probably going to Dynamax that Metagross, if anything, right? Drop a Flamethrower. We'll do that. Phantom Force won't have no effect, and it's not very effective. So, not worth it at all. But I am going to actually look. I get a burn, right? 
Get a burn all flame thrower. Yeah. I'm gonna go for that. Hopefully it's not policy. And I'm gonna drop a focus blast. I'm going for a focus blast over onto Sincinor. Go ahead. Try for a fake out. Hopefully he's like me and he forgets about the terrain sometimes. Let's see. Let's see what he does. So I am liking where we're sitting, but Metagross is a powerhouse Pokemon. It really is. But I'm not gonna um, I, I ended up not swapping out the Mewtwo. I just don't think it's a play anymore. Because we're gonna Dynamax Ente, so I'd rather just wait this uh wait till Mewtwo goes down. I'm looking for a burn onto that Metagross. That would be huge. I'll be honestly huge. And hopefully it's not policy, because if we proc this policy, bruh. We'd be we'd be in a lot of trouble. We'd be in a lot of trouble. Hopefully it's orbs. Or if he has policy, hopefully we get the burn on him. We need, we need a little bit of luck on Gene's side today. Let's go, Pokey Gods. Right here, baby. This battle. This battle. Flamethrower comes out here. Show me the burn. Show me the burn. Nope, just policy proc. <laughs> just the policy, man. Just what we didn't want to happen. You go for a Steel Spike over on my Mewtwo slot. Yep, later Mewtwo. Later, pup. You're gone. You're out of here. Focus West is going to fly through here. Um, I think I just get out Regilecki here. Start wasting out these Dynamax turns and save my Dynamax for my Entei. I'm going to go for a Snarl. Hey! Hey! Yo, dude, what are you doing with Snarling up on me? That's not cool, man. It's not cool at all. Special Attack gets dropped. Focus West is still going to come in here. Getting after it. Trying to do as much damage as we can. Built. Done a little bit. Not bad. Give me that Special Defense drop. No Special Defense drop. A little whack. You have Assurance, man. I could check it out. The target has already taken some damage in the same turn. The power is doubled. This thing's the fastest, so. Uh, do I go for E webs or. I think I just assurance this thing up. What do I do? What's the plan? My E web is slow down the boys, but. Hmm. What does Jeans do here? Might slow them both down for my Entei to come in here. Actually, Ante's gonna be faster than both of them, so. Let's start getting rid of somebody. We can turn this into a 1v1 with Metagross. It'll be pretty good. I could go for the Paralyze. Uh, I'm gonna get it for you. Start doubling up into this uh this guy right here. I think he's gonna go after my Regilecki, which would be nice. I am Sash. Some damage there. Barry's gonna pop soon. There's a hailstorm. Oh, he's dropping hit. Yo, what a smart play. Yo, what a smart. Yo, I'm giving this guy props here. Give this guy mad props. Dropping a hailstorm. What a smart little cookie. Knowing that I'm sad, she's like, yo, I'm gonna drop the hailstorm. Get the buff of damage off. Smart cookie. And he's just gonna start all again, right? Okay, so he didn't. He actually didn't need the hailstorm. Dude, I wish I had Alice switch, man. I totally wish I had Alice switch. Uh, I think I'm gonna guard this next turn. 100%. Not let him get off a Dynamax. Weakness policy prop hit. And now he's gonna be able to eat berry up all day. Hopefully he's not berry. Maybe he's safety goggles. Oh, he is goggle. He is goggle. Nah, okay, I like that even better. I like that even better. So he is goggle. Oh no, he's not goggle. What is he? He just took buffets. What? He's no berry? I kinda wanna know what item he is. Oh yo, I can't guard. I can't guard. I don't have guard move. Tough news. Tough news for jeans. But definitely the flamethrower is coming out here. 100%. 100% flamethrower. On to you, change up that weather. Um, I guess we'll gleam. Right, I guess we'll gleam. Get a little bit of damage off on the Metagross while we take out that Incineroar. If that is Soul Vest, but they're both physical. But the thing that stinks is that, uh,. Sonora does outspeed my melee. So he could potentially get off a parting shot or an attack drop or an extra hit before he goes out. Because of my Dynamax, dude, Metagross is so strong. I feel like I haven't used him in a bit either. Cool Pokemon, though. Cool Pokemon. Hopefully he doesn't just absolutely dump on my, my, my Entei. That'd be rough news for us. Is he gonna guard? What's his play? Are we outspeed? We are able to get off this big old max player. Can we KO with this? I don't think so. This thing's real bulky too. But we do have the heat, so next hit's definitely gonna take him out. We have speed advantage, which he's all but Buffets won't take out now. So if he takes out my Lele, that's a power move. Oh, Gleam goes first. Beautiful. Why are we outspeeding now? Wasn't Incineroar just outspeeding us the whole last time? 
I'm a little confused there, but here comes the quake. Um, it's going in for my Entei. Entei, eat. If you eat, we win. Ah! Oh! That one hurts. That one hurts a lot. He gets... Oh, that's game, man. Dude, that's game. That's game. Dude. Metagross is so strong. He is so strong. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's game. He gets a special defense boost. And a minus two. And a minus two, man. Yo, Lele. I need you here, girl. You need to get, like, a crit. Throw a little spicy meatball here. Let him miss an attack. You gotta go for a focus blast. That's our only way. It's our only way. It's gonna do like no damage on this thing. This thing's bulky enough already. Maybe two focus blasts could take out. And we can get a crit on one and him miss. Something like that. Let's see how much damage it does. Ouch. Ouch. We need a crit on the next one. Ice punch can access GG's. That's GG's. Dang, dude. Metagross is so good. It's ridiculous, but yo, awesome set of battles today. We had two close battles that we lost, and we dominated in our first. Awesome set of battles for today's video. I think in the next uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield video, we're going to get a powerhouse team rolling out here and try to go 3-0, because I've been using a lot of off-meta teams, and I feel like we got to get a strong meta team to kind of counter up, because, again, this uh, season right here is all heavy meta Pokemon. Like you guys saw, we saw some Kyogres, saw, just saw Metagross. Metagross is an absolute beast. Huge meta Pokemon, but we decided to use Mewtwo today, have some fun on it, and we were able to catch a win. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.